first-time homebuyer tax credits sounded like such a good deal. But some are finding out that cashing in on them is a pretty tough task. In fact, one woman says she waited more than eight months to get her check, and she's not the only one that's dealt with delays. Deborah Boggs has more in tonight's segment two. We're putting in a new backsplash. On. Diane Ferreira bought this condo with help from her father in September. She qualifies for the $8,000 first-time homebuyer tax credit and applied for it nine months ago with an amended tax return. I went ahead and did that in October, expecting the check no later than late January, beginning of February, and... I haven't gotten anything yet. She added granite countertops and made other changes, expecting to pay for the work with her tax credit. But she's still wondering where the money is. The condo was paid for in cash, and she believes the lack of mortgage sparked extra scrutiny. She contacted the IRS and sent additional documentation. As far as the IRS, they just keep telling me that everybody else is going through the same thing, that they're, I'm not the only one that's been delayed at this point. We contacted the IRS of about Ferreira's situation and were told they would not comment on her specific case or on delays in general with consumers getting their first-time homebuyer tax credits. Most delays we found were people who would go back and amend their returns. Lucia Schubert is a CPA who's had a few clients also encounter delays, some waiting six months. Schubert believes the IRS is now taking a closer look at requests to deter fraud. Try to contact the IRS to see what the holdup was. And we'd basically just get answers like, well, it's in review, you know, you'll, you know, someone will contact you in 30 days. They really wouldn't give a, uh, a clear response as to why, what was holding things up. Recent government audits uncovered tens of thousands of people cashing in on homebuyer tax credits they weren't qualified for. The cost to taxpayers, hundreds of millions of dollars. Among those, people who bought another home within three years, people who had yet to close on their homes, and people who bought prior to the tax credit taking effect. The audit also found multiple people claiming credits for the same house, and that even children, prisoners, and IRS workers were wrongly taking advantage of the program. There probably should have been some stricter uh, requirements put into place uh, to keep it from getting out of hand. To crack down, the IRS is trying to recapture some of that money. They've also closed some loopholes and are now requiring all applicants to submit supporting documents. Initially, no proof of ownership was required. With the new checks in place, homeowners like Diane Ferreira are caught in the mess. You're fighting with the IRS for something that you really should have received, you know, five, six months ago. Well, Ferreira just received some good news from the IRS. Her first-time homebuyer tax credit has been approved, and she should see her check within the next two months with interest.